Hello everyone. Welcome to the blog Automation Home. Today I am going to demonstrate automating the calculator application, Windows calculator application using Java and Auto IT. And for this I am using the Auto IT X4 dot Java API for automating the calculator application. So open the URL code dot google dot com slash p auto it for it dot java auto it x4 dot x4 java okay so here uh, you can see the more information of uh, the api okay. so for this first you need to download the auto it a for jar file so download this jar file and set it in the java build path of your eclipse project so next step once you download auto it uh, for jar file next step is download the jacob so i have already downloaded the jacob okay. first is downloading the auto it jar file and set it in the eclipse build path so download the jacob so you can download and uh, once you download it extract the zip file so here uh, you can find uh, one jar file and two dll files you copy this jar file and dll file into the eclipse uh, into the lib folder of the eclipse project so here i have already copied it and placed it in the lib folder of the java project which i am uh, developing in the using the eclipse ide so I have already downloaded auto it uh, x4 java jar file and jacob next step is downloading the auto it just download uh, auto it so click on the button download auto it here you can see multiple uh, ways of downloading one is exe editor so i am downloading the zip file so once you download the zip file just extract the zip file okay so I am setting the build path for so I have set the build path for auto it and jacob.jar once everything is ready so for finding the elements open the ok so I have extracted the auto it zip file just I am going inside the folder here uh, you can open the auto it inspector uh, either this one or this one so I am opening this one and now op I need to open the calculator application click on the control tab and just click on the finder tool and navigate on the button just move the button so if I have moved on to the button one and you are able to see the id similarly you can move the pointer you can move the mouse onto the button two you can see 130 132 similarly you can move to 89 and you can capture the ids of all the button 1 to 9 and similarly you can find the ids for other operators as well like plus you can see 93 if you see on the plus it's the 93 and similarly division similarly multiplication you see a 92 similarly you can find out the id for the control id for all the buttons on the calculator application once you find out once you uh, got all the buttons for the calculator application okay you can store them in the application just have written the code i here uh, these are the ids for the button 0 it's 130 131 up to 139 so i have placed this ids in the locate in the hash map similarly for the operators plus minus everything into the so here uh, and and based on the jvm bit version i am loading the jacob dls and i am uh, with the help of uh, System dot set property. I am loading the Jacob DLL. So once everything is done, 
just I am creating the calculator application. So here I am creating the auto IT control, IT X control for performing the operations on the calculator application using the auto IT. So here this is the step for launching the calculator application. So once the calculator application is launched, it will perform the addition operations. These are for addition, multi subtraction, multiplication, division, and finally and closing the calculator application. So if I move into the addition operation, so initially it will clear the uh, if it is already have some any data in the calculator, it will clear the result data and perform the operation. So for example, I have sent one comma uh, say seventeen comma three. So it will go here. It will perform the operations of uh, seventeen. It will click seventeen and uh, three. Let me show. Yeah, fine. So it will on this one. Yeah, it will click on seventeen, and uh, it will perform the addition operation, and it will click on the three. Seventeen plus three, nothing but it will get the. Uh, and it will click the equals operator once it is done it will get the results here you can see get results it will get the results from the calculator application say for example i'm clicking on 4 say plus 3 equal to 7 7 is present in the result panel so when i select this here so you cannot see you can see here there is no id or text or name field so how i am getting this uh, data is just I am getting the data from the visible text. For example, I am clicking 8 minus 2. Sorry. 8 minus 2. It's 6. So when I move the pointer here, you can see the visible text is 6. So I am getting the data from the visible text. So here I, I am using the method control dot win get text so it will get the text from the visible text the program now so uh, I am uh, performing the addition operation so addition operation of 1 plus 3 is 4 and so another one performing the addition operation of 17 plus 3 so I am performing two operations two operations on addition two operations on subtraction and two operations on multiplication and division as well so you can see the uh, output of the automation script of the calculator application So and finally it closes the calculator application. Thanks for watching the demo.